श्री बाला साहेब दराडे अ फॉर्मर नासा साइंटिस्ट एमिनेंट फिलोसोफर एंड थिंकर एन अवार्ड विनिंग पब्लिक पॉलिसी एक्सपर्ट एंड इनोवेटर एडवाइजर टू गवर्नमेंट्स पॉलिटिकल लीडर्स कॉर्पोरेट्स एंड एन जी ओज ही इज अ रेकग्नाइज पब्लिक स्पीकर एंड लीडर ही इज नोन फॉर ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग एंड लीडिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विद इनोवेशन पब्लिक प्राइवेट पार्टनरशिप्स एंड इफेक्टिव इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ द लार्ज स्केल प्रोग्राम एट द ग्रास रूट लेवल a versatile problem solver with expertise in identifying innovative solutions after having a successful career as an entrepreneur a consultant and nanotechnologist in the USA he is returning to the villages of india for rural development he has been a public speaker elected leader and he has been appreciated for his valuable contribution to the masses he has worked with dr apj abdul kalam who has inspired him to work on nation building and his journey back to the roots honorable dais honorable uh, vishwanath ji karad and all the dignitaries vice chancellor mr khandare ji upate ji and helix and uh, all of you it's my great pleasure to be here amongst you again and uh, as introduced by my dear friend this journey from village boy to a like identity called as bala saheb darade and then uh, now so that that journey was yesterday i was clever so i wanted to change the world today i am wise so i am changing myself this is the quote by rumi and this is how the i am on this journey right now um so obviously i mean the my you have heard my story earlier also when i spoke at earlier from grassroots to us and then again um uh, working in science scientific field research uh winning lot of awards elections grassroots working with politicians i still continue to work continue to work with governments so while the outside journey is going on the more interesting part is the inner journey the inner transformation and um, uh, that is what is i think it is the most important uh, so today i'm going to share a little bit on that so first part i will share a little bit and then my partner will share so today's world if you see the outside world in outside world it is volatile uncertain complex and ambiguous we have seen in last two years in the covid times and lot of things in our personal life also it happens so what does it what do all of these things result in so can we make it interactive as well so what does all this result in stress right and uh this is how the stress response system of our body so chemically biologically when when we are in stress our hypothalamus in brain gets impacted the liver lungs uh, adrenaline and cortisol and like different digestive system the major parts of the body kidney heart rate goes up and this thing which comes in a mind stress is a stress is just a thought what is depression depression is nothing it starts with a single thought just one thought a repetitive thought the deep impression of that thought and then it becomes depression the and the stress so from thought to the biological effect so in in, in first part of talk i am going to speak on how how this uh, thought is impacting our biology our neurology our brain and body so and where where is this stress stress is all in the mind all the different thoughts i mean all the stress it exists it is all happening at the mind level which has impact on the body so what happens in mind if you see the tendency of mind the mind is always in a past or future it is agreeing to something or disagreeing to something it is very distracted 
it is reactive rather than responding it is in the reaction mode fight flight mode and it clings on to the negative what happens when we think about past there is some regret what and what happens when we think about future there is stress about it right so mind is on a autopilot mode so this is what happens like ma like the this multimedia player we are in the past or future and while this is happening because this mind wandering this going into the past and future leads it we, we miss lot of important information and for the leaders like you i mean i understand you are all the leaders leading this organization so for leaders it is very important then this this gives you the difficulty in making the decision because information is very important so we are going to see so this is this is how the uh, this is monkey mindset and monk mindset this is how like you see spiral it is going all over but for the monk mindset it is it is stable that stable clarity and over the next few minutes we are going to see how we can go from this monkey mindset to a monk mindset this is going from the autopilot to the awareness or being in control so these are different levels of existence there are seven layers of existence that is uh, going from the gross body then breath then our mind intellect memory ego and self so is going from the gross to the subtle so i'm i'm going to start on few gross levels and then uh, we'll go to the subtle levels